Um, everyone gets stopped feeding. So you can't avoid it, huh? How did everything get so messed up? Just because we're fighting someone doesn't mean we gotta hate them. That's probably the worst thing about the war. Win or lose, I still get a bad taste in my mouth. I mean, you don't have to hate your enemies if you don't want to, but you still gotta fight them. I mean, that's what war is, like, literally what war is. There's, like, no avoiding it. Is there, is that, yeah, that's an item. Who is down here that I didn't talk to? Oh, you. Edelgar's presence suggests that Hubert is around too. He is minister of the Imperial household, after all. He's been around Edelgard since they were children. I suppose he must be pretty happy with his current position. So this is basically just a fetch quest. himself Not unless he rose from the grave to secure revenge that would mean actually I have no idea what that would mean well whoever they are I hope we can avoid fighting them who's down here is that oh it's Judas all right since little Claude became their leader the alliance lords haven't been especially unified now they're suddenly united for a common cause as a result, the Empire hasn't been able to perform even one successful incursion. Rather, we're the ones who might get the jump on them. It's incredible. Magical, even. Maybe his strategic genius was simmering for those five years, and it returned to a full boil once you two were reunited. Or maybe he always knew he'd meet you again, and he was preparing for that this whole time. Um, I mean... Okay, here's the here's the uh, the thing. Things are going really well on uh, on the uh, Golden Deer front. Like when when you are in part two of the Blue Lion, things aren't going as well as this. I'm pretty sure. Here on out. I'm 
really feeling the tension now. I have almost no experience with battles of this scale. Professor, I'll be grateful for your leadership on the battlefield. I know I can trust you. Okay, it's Marian. My dear friends has been behaving strangely. He doesn't seem to have much of an appetite. He's been, uh, and he's been lying with some often. I'm afraid he may be sick. You should watch over him non stop until he improves. Give him some, uh, nutritious ray. You should seek out an expert opinion just to be safe. Seek out an expert opinion just to be safe. Alright. Because I'm not a doctor, so why, like, why I'm not. Qualified enough to give you an advice. I trust you and Claude, but I feel uneasy. If we lose in the next battle, the Empire's army will likely come surging into Alliance territory. If that happens, my parents won't escape unharmed. They've raised their anti Imperial flag after all. I won't let that happen. Of course it has. Claude seems filled with confidence, but I wonder if everything really will be okay. The Imperial Army might be hiding the Emperor, and the troops headed south might belong to the Old Kingdom. I'll be honest, I'm incredibly uneasy about all of this. But at this point, there's no option but to move forward. Uh, you know what? Before that, let's watch this one. Uh, this one cutscene between uh, Marianne and Raphael. You just said it? Conversation with you.
Oh, that was hilarious. Oh, that was, that was great. I love Raphael. That was hilarious. Oh man. All right. Let me see. How many classes do I teach this month? Three. So battle here, motivation here, seminar here. All right. Um. Yeah, motivation. Let's see. Oh, everybody's motivation are actually really high. Yeah, because I got their motivation up last. Yeah, okay. So, like, all I need is like three meals, and then they're done. Cool. Hold on. Uh, support. Let's see support. You you can eat which Yuri or Balthus. Uh, you are done with everyone, so I don't. You don't really need anything to eat. You, which all right, cool. Claude, who do you have? Uh, okay, so you can eat with Helda or Leone. Uh, or Balthus. Hold on. So you eat with Balthus. You eat with Yuri. You can eat with whoever. All right, cool. I mean, like, they dropped a hint that your dad killed uh, Raphael's parents. So what I'm thinking is either you are going to, like, you are going to have a, a side story where you, like, just fight your father outright. Or, like, in the end, in the epilogue, where, like, what happens, you're going to overthrow your dad and, like, took over his position. Oh, we have a support, which me and Sadith. Uh, interesting, interesting. Uh, hold on. Oh, battalion, that's right. Do you... Yeah, you're... Okay, there we go, Wyvern Core. Uh, fed against flyers, arrow ring down. Hold on. Yeah, give me the wyvern corp. We secured the win in our first skirmish. The next battle is a different matter. The Empire will come after us with everything it's got. Even so, the ultimate victory will be ours. And I'm not just saying that. I've made ample preparations to ensure our victory. It's my rule to never leave victory to chance. You can't rely on the protection of the gods. With your power and my schemes, I should be able to plot a direct course to victory. Robert Rosa, but your thing doesn't change. Great. Very 
Yeah, like, it's Dimitri and he lost his goddamn mind. But now that I've seen what it is that uh, Claude is like, after the time skip, I'm locked in here? What the heck? Hello? Like, remembering Dimitri is like, Dimitri just went all out on, like, he, he is just nuts. Really? Do you doubt your own power even now? I suppose that's only natural. You've lived your whole life knowing next to nothing about yourself. Not even Gerald could have possibly known all there is to know about you. I wonder, are you satisfied with that? What do you mean? Are you content not knowing who you are? Or do you yearn to know? I wish to know more. That was a foolish question, of course. You are not the sort to be complacent. So, only one more question matters. Are you ready? Ready for what? The truth. All of it. Learning it will doubtlessly have direct consequences on your life. You do not know what those will be. You may decide, once you learn it, that you wish you hadn't. But even if you have such regrets, you will never be able to return to ignorance. So, are you ready to know the truth? Yes, yes. Please stop talking. Just tell me. That is what I wish to hear. Oh my God. Since the Archbishop put so much faith in me. I will continue to offer my aid. More than that, I will put my faith in you as well, and I will do all that is within my power to help you someday reach the truth. Wait. So you don't know? Like you were talking like you were talking like you were gonna tell me the truth you knew and like you you're you're gonna okay hold on the the, the NPC is pushing me into the building. Like I thought you were gonna tell me what the heck was that pointless dialogue if he doesn't know anything? Like what was the point of all that? Oh god, okay. That's that's very dumb. Where's Balthus? Here we go. Uh, Yuri and, uh, yeah, Constance, why not? Happy you do one with uh, Raphael. Why not? Raphael likes to eat. Wow. Okay, I have two more action points. Since the... Since the progress can carry over, I'm going to uh, do some preparations for like the Black Eagle playthrough. Like, train down some stats that I'm not going to use now, but I'll probably use uh, in the Black Eagle. So, because I can spend Renown to just, like, max them out uh, however I want. So, yeah, that's cool. I'm going to... 
yeah, I'm gonna spend some re uh, spend some time um, reading some of these stats. That's not gonna be helpful in this playthrough, but it's going to help me in the Black Eagle and Silver Snow playthrough. Uh, Vanstrows. Yeah, sure, why not? All right, done and done. Uh, ghosts. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. All right, since Helda has switched class into a Dark Knight, then I don't actually need Helda to use a um to use magic. So I'm going to just go for the Axe and the Authority um, for now, because I don't need her to do magic. Uh, yeah. Alright. So, here we go. We don't need the writing anymore, so Claude, why don't you go with Constance to up your flying? 